So it looks like Justin Trudeau's approval rating has dropped even further to not only even further, but record breaking numbers that he's never seen before. And I think not only am I happy about this, I don't want to speak for you guys, but I think this is good news for you guys as well. Now, before we get into this uh, recent data, uh, Abacus data polling information, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. And also leave your comments, your suggestions or your questions in the comment section as I do enjoy engagement with you guys as well. So it says today, uh, 24% of Canadians approve of the job performance of the federal government, down three points in a month, while disapproval has reached a new high in our tracking at 62% for the federal government overall. Now, Justin Trudeau's individual, impre- the, the impression of Justin Trudeau is basically the same, 61% disapproval. And only 22 peop- uh, 22% of the people have a positive impression on Justin Trudeau. And again, that number is going down and the uh, disapproval number is going to continue to go up, in my opinion. Impression of Jagmeet Singh, 38% say negative. And that's taken a recent spike up. It used to be 35. And then his positive, the positive impressions was at 33, but now that's only at 29. So he's down by, he's got a, a negative, he's basically down by nine points. Where he used to be only down by two points, right, which is like, You know, it's a net negative of two points. That's where he was. Now he's at, um, sorry, a minus net negative of nine points. Which brings you all the way down to Pierre Polyev, who actually is the only politician who has a positive, like a net positive when it comes to the impression. 39% approve, 35% disapprove. For a total of four points, Jugmeet Singh is down nine, and Trudeau is around 40 points in the hole. 40 points. That is a hole that you cannot recover from. I don't care what he does. He can bring out UBI. He can continue this Russia, Russia, Russia crap. Well, it's actually more of his supporters who are saying it, not really him, to be fair to him. But, I mean, you're down that much. That's crazy. Now, Pierre Polyev's numbers aren't great here, but he is the only one with a plus four or with a plus beside the number of the differential. 40 points for Trudeau in the hole, 9 points for Jugmeet Singh in the hole. And again, those numbers are going to get worse for that. The longer they stay, <clears throat> you know, the longer that the Jugmeet Singh is the leader of that party, the more his numbers will go down. People just don't like him. He's not popular. He's not smart. He doesn't have any good ideas. And he just lies all the time. People are done with him. They need a new leader, just like the Green Party needs a new leader. And just like the People's Party needs a new leader as well. So, um, Again, it's just more good news for Pierre Polyev. It just seems to get better and better for him. And Pierre and uh, Justin Trudeau is just getting a massive reality check. And again, a, a reality check that he needed to see. Now, his ego still won't allow him to resign, but that's fine. I actually hope that he stays in and just takes that party and burns it to the ground along with, with his political career. That's what he deserves. You don't get to just partially destroy a country and get away with it he got away with it for about nine years but it's over now there's there's no way he's coming back and i do expect that pierre polyev's positive impression will likely go up it has taken a hit it did get up to 42 percent at one point it's down to 39 but the negative impression it's actually come down a little bit it used to be at 37 it's at 35 and the more canadians suffer the more canadians are you know just basically subdued to all these all this crime and these high prices and the fact there's not enough homes and they're bringing in too many uh, immigrants to this country without you know having enough infrastructure to to have them here it's great to help people if you can but canadians need help canadians are homeless canadians need 25 percent of canadians need to go to a food bank right now that's disgusting food banks are they're, they're literally having like sh- food shortages and they're asking for more donations because they need they need to buy food. They're a nonprofit organization, so they don't have a bunch of money in the bank. They need donations. So, I mean, it's the, the more this happens, the more people are going to be like, okay, I'm done with Trudeau. And maybe you don't like Pierre Paul. Yeah, that's fine. But the fact is there are liberal voters who will either switch to the, to the conservatives, maybe some will go to the NDP, but a lot of them are going to stay home on election day. So they don't like either politicians. And I can, and I actually kind of agree with that. I'm not a huge fan of Pierre Polyev. I'm going to vote for him unless he... If he mentions that he's a supporter of a certain war, 
then I will not vote either. I will never, ever, ever vote for someone who wants to go to war in the name of profit. If you profit off of killing people, you're not getting my vote. It's just never going to happen. So if he ever says anything like that, that he's pro-war, I'm out. I know that's going to disappoint a lot of people, but I will never do that. Yes, he's going to be way better fiscally than Justin Trudeau, but Pierre Polyev also needs to be careful not to piss off the populist group here because populism is growing, not just on the right, but on the left too. And you saw that in the States with Robert Kennedy Jr. He's the populist left. There's a lot of people who like him. So and Pierre Polyev is going to get, like if you're a Canadian and you like Robert Kennedy, you're probably going to vote for Pierre Polyev, even though he's a liberal. But if you're a classical liberal, you're going to agree with conservatives more these days because what liberalism has become or what leftism has become is something that we've never really seen before. There's a big difference now between left and liberal, in my opinion. Leftists is this new far left woke crap that's just, I think it's starting to go away, but it's been around for about 10, 15 years now, and it's just getting really annoying. A liberal, a classical liberal, is like John Kennedy, or Robert Kennedy Sr., or his son Robert Kennedy Jr. Those are classical liberals, right? Uh, Anti-war, pro-free speech, anti-censorship, manageable immigration, focusing on the quality of our food. That's what liberals are supposed to be. Anti-three-letter agencies, but now... Liberals or leftists apparently are pro-war, they're pro-censorship, they apparently love big corporations too because they can't help themselves but continue to uh, help that help make them rich, right? Like they have no problem with it now. But then you also have a lot of liberals who do that, but then they also start quoting this Marxist ideology. It's all very confusing. I don't really know what the left is anymore because they're certainly not liberal. But either way, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about these numbers? Uh, are, are you impressed with the numbers? Are you disappointed? Uh, let me know uh, anything that you're feeling, comments, questions, suggestions for other videos. Uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate every one of you. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.